Our guest today is credited by foreign sources with pushing back through covert operations, assassinations and mysterious explosions, Iran's timeline in its quest for a nuclear bomb. He has, on the other hand, stated clearly and publicly that bombing Iran would be the stupidest thing he has ever heard. Welcome to Mayor Dagan. First of all, the use of a stupid uh, assumption is a little bit a uh, harsh expression. It was done in uh, what I call a heat of a discussion. It's not something that I'm very proud of. And those who have a different opinion, uh, they, keep, they can keep their opinion. Uh, have a great respect to their opinion, but I'm sorry to tell you that I'm sharing a different point of view. Uh, knowledge on the nuclear issue, it's something that uh, you are not able to prevent because knowledge remains in the brains of people. You are not capable really in uh, eliminate knowledge from, from people. What you really can do, and in some cases you can destroy an industrial infrastructure on the ground that is producing some part of the project. The question is not if is Israel capable of doing so. It's not a military issue. It's what will be the outcome of such an attack. I think it's going to put Israel into a regional war. In the best case scenario, you are able to delay the project, not uh, you are not able to stop it. You can raise the question mark if such an attack is the right and the best solution for it. I believe that such a solution should be a tool in the hand of political level. But I am not sure that it should be the first option. It should be the last option. If we find ourselves a few years down the road facing an intelligence estimate that we cannot wait any longer, then what? I never said that such an option should be a military option, should be a reliable option. I think such an option have always to remain. But you have to understand what you are going to do by this. Let's say if you are doing it too soon, what you are going to create is something uh, unbelievable because today Iran is suffering from internal problem as a result of the international, uh, the international crisis, economical crisis. Add to this the problem of sanctions. Add to this to the ethnic different minorities who are existing in Iran who are really now, let's call it, an opposition to the current regime in Iran. And suddenly we are going to unite all of them behind the leadership. Not only that we are going to unite all of them behind the leadership if we are going to attack, but we are going to provide them with, with the justification for go to a nuclear weapon. Why? It's very simple. They will say, look, we were attacked. But what was claimed by international media, by a nuclear state, till now we were aiming to produce a, pro uh, a project that the main purpose for this is a peace pro project and it's uh, really observed by the atomic energy in Vienna, the United Nations. And suddenly we are attacked by a state that attack a facility that is already under observation of the international community and for our own defense. Now we are going to produce a nuclear capability as a deterrence and a protection for ourselves. And not only that we are not going to stop the project, we are going to provide the, just the right justification for it. If you are asking what would be in the end of the road if all other means are failing, I think that uh, this is the reason why it's needed a reliable option. The question is when you are putting it on the table. Uh, why, why have you chosen to be so vociferous now? Do you not trust the elected Prime Minister of Israel? And his I election? respect very much the Prime Minister of Israel and the Defence Minister. But first of all, I'm a citizen and a citizen I can present my point of view. We are still living in a democracy. Somebody like me who serve more civil life serving this country, I believe I'm entitled and have the right to present my point of view. Your point of view is very different uh, to, to the point of view, say, presented by Barack even. Uh, I respect every point of view, but uh, I learned that uh, the fact that somebody is a prime minister taking a decision not necessarily means that he is taking the right decision. We are not uh, what I call uh, 
a state that everything should be censored by the government. I don't think I'm creating any damage to the security of Israel because uh, let me take it by point of view of the Iranian. If somebody like me t speaking against it, then probably the Iranian have to understand that Israel probably is considering seriously of doing so. Then in a way, it's uh, helping those efforts that uh, such a scenario is a reliable scenario. Yeah. I think that Iran today is in a very serious situation. And if I would aim, I would aim to a different goal. I would aim to, to such a regime will be replaced by a much more open, that is much more keen to civil rights and much more keen to an, uh, a w much more open society. And I believe that today many of the Iranians want to see Iran going this direction. I think that the hardships are reaching to almost every household in Iran. And they are putting the blame on the Iranian regime as a result of their behaving. I think that the direction that the national community is going is the right direction. And let me put it this way, if uh, the United States president is saying that he is not going to allow Iran reach to a nuclear capability, if we are not going to trust him, whom we are going to trust? Isn't that a departure from Israeli policy to rely on another country to leave our fate in the hands of another country? I don't think that we are leaving our fate to another country. I think we are now uh, living in a situation where our interest and our problem lies in its the main interest on the most of the countries in the region and the United States in the international community. I don't think I think it personally I think it's a mistake to put as a direct conflict between Israel and Iran. We ever and never had anything against the people of Iran. And uh, I think that such a problem that is creating such a great threat to the region and to the instability of the region and to the economy of the region and every other aspect should be dealt as an international issue.